Hi, this is Amedeo Beretta from Animation Pandemic. In this new video I'm going to show you how to fix sliding feet in animation in an easy way without sweating too much. So let's get started. On my screen you will see Rocket Girl. Some of you might recognize the rig already. It's by Vladimir Mokov and Stefan Alcino. You will find the link to it in the description. It's free for non-commercial use. I have this animation here. You see that the feet are not sliding. This is a, a, a cycle and I made sure that the while the master moves forward linearly, you see, with linear tangents, whenever the feet are on the floor, they will also move back linearly for the most part. See that? So that means they won't slide because they move back by the same amount and the same speed of the master moving forward. If I compare the two curves, they have the same inclination, but they go the opposite way. So this is one curve and this is the other. They are symmetrical. Now, what we want to do in here is we want to say change the speed of the master and see if we can solve the sliding feet without spending too much time on them. So what I'm going to do is maybe as the girl approaches the camera, I perhaps want her to accelerate. We'll grab the master and I will accelerate it a little bit. If I go back into the camera earlier on, I didn't have any sliding of, on, with the feet and now there is a bit of slip, uh, slipping in the feet, you see, as the girl accelerates, which is a bit annoying. And the problem is that the master is moving, so we can't really fix this lining very easily unless we use some tools. So the tools I I'm going to use is uh, Red9, which you can find online, again, tools for animation. Um, you have access to the free tools, but if you want, you can go for the paid for version. We're going to use the free version um, of these tools, which have which has a lot of very cool functions for animation. You can also use uh, Anchor Transform, which is a script, a script from Robert Jostin, which also performs a similar task. I prefer Red, Red 9, but I mean, there, I'm sure there are plenty of scripts around that, that, that do the same thing. So we'll go back and let's see how this works. Let's say that between 25 and 29, we've got to fix that sliding going on. So, I'm going to have a look at this animation again. So between 25 and 29, heavy sliding now that I changed the animation of the master. So I'm going to select, let's say between 25 and 28. 29 is not selected as you see. I'm going to go Red9, Animation Toolkit. Make sure I'm looking at the Track or Stabilize tool. I make sure that time range is on because I need to fix this time range. And then if I process back, Maya, well, Red9 really, is going to keep key the, the position 29 and make sure the foot stays there throughout the duration of the animation until it gets to 25. So I'm going to try that to see if it works. And now at 25, forget this glitch, we're going to fix it at 25. We have the contact, then we go down, we stay well planted there. 29 last frame of the contact and kick off we are off and in just a click we have fixed sliding feet obviously you should always try to make sure that the master moves in a sensible way I mean if your master has very erratic motion then you have another problem and your root will move all over the place so I mean this is good if you if you think your animation is in the right place and you just need to fix the sliding of the feet there is a glitch that was introduced in here and you see that that interpolation doesn't quite work. That might be a, a, a rotation problem. If I go uh, gimbal, I will check the axis there and you see that we are in full gimbal lock. So it might be a, just a problem of gimbal lock. So what I'm going to do to fix that, I'm, I'm going to use the good old Euler filter. So in the graph editor of Maya, you select either a key of any rotation curve of this control, then you go curves, Euler filter, Maya is going to recompute the rotations. You will see that the poses won't change, the rotation of the single poses won't change, but interpolation will, and it will be usually much better. Failing that, you have to go in manually, but usually that's not really necessary. So now, in just a few clicks, we fixed sliding feed. There you go.